Hello guys, this is Prajot Singh from Techno World. So this is the Tails OS 1.0, 1.2. So uh, it came out three four days ago, I think on 16th of October. So I tried it today. So I I have used it for a day. So Tails or the amnesic incognito live system that's the full form of tails it's a security focused debian based linux distro that's aimed at providing privacy and anonymity blah 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 so it uses uh, tor that's a uh, anonymity network that uses uh, this the tor browser that's based on firefox so the system is designed to be booted as a live DVD or a live USB. I'm using it as a live USB. You can even install it on a memory stick. So it will uh, never leave a digital footprint on the machine uh, if you are using the Tor browser. It, the Tor browser works uh, by changing the proxies every time you open the browser or you can use the, you can use the, that, the tor button to like click the new identity to have a new proxy so i am using the windows 8 camouflage camouflage to uh, when i was installing it uh, it said to uh, do you want to use it as a windows 8 camouflage so it it's a security feature so that people don't get attracted to your operating system or I mean your laptop when it's in a public place because Windows is the most common in the world it has a 90% share so uh, we have in the accessories we have the archive manager calculator disk utility files uh, jdt text editor gtk hash help key pass that's mostly on every Linux distro so on the graphics we have the adobe document viewer and we have gnu uh, image manipulation program that's gimp to edit your photographs and there's an image browser and we have the inkscape vector uh, graphics editor so there's libreoffice draw that's like paint in windows and there's scribbles that's used for publication and page layout and there's simple scan to scan your documents and on the internet part there's clause email that's a email client and gobi collaborative editor that's edit text files that's like notepad and lifre feed reader pit gain blah blah that's there's tor browser and unsafe web browser that's the simple uh, firefox uh, browser and that's with tor uh, that uses different proxies every time you open it so in the office section there's uh, booklet imp booklet imposer booklet imposers sorry i wasn't able to read it correctly and there's libre office it doesn't have open office it has libre office so in programming section we have poedit so sound and video we have audacity for recording audios and editing audio brass row disc burner movie player ptv video editor simple screen recorder i just installed it to you for this video so there's sound recorder traverse traverso that's multi-track recorder and there's sound juicer audio cd extractor there are system tools like uh, for administration, MAT, power statistics, system monitor, tails installer to install, clone or upgrade your tails from an ISO. And there's about tails, it's tails 1.2, the amnesic incognito live system. That's the build information. So it was built on 15th of October 1.2. That's the latest build. So it's a live boot from a USB and you could mount your each drives. 
I'm do dual booting with it uh, with Windows 10 preview version. So each time you mount a drive, it asks for your passwords like this one. Every time you open it, uh, it requires an authentication. I'm going to enter it for you. So to mount the devices. So that's my Windows partition. And uh, you could change the system settings from Debian live user and you could stay available or busy. It's always connected to the Tor network. Uh, view the network. You could use a new identity and it shows the bandwidth graph each time. So and these are the system settings it's similar to ubuntu that's also based on uh, debian so there's more the browsing experience on this is great uh, you could use either the unsafe browser or the tor browser so it's great but some um, mostly when I browse the websites, uh, it always asks for a security code. So because of uh, it says like uh, from that IP you are uh, getting. I meant the site is getting unusual traffic when I searched on Google sometimes. So that's it, guys. This is this was the brief overview of the tails 1.2 linux distro <clears throat> so thanks for watching guys uh, if you like this video do give it a thumbs up and there's more coming uh, stay tuned